Before my next fishing trip, I want to collect a few wild ingredients to use in my next recipe. So I'm heading inland to a secret location to hunt for mushrooms with fungus expert Clive Holder. Clive, can you tell me about the woods that we're hunting among, what the trees mean for the mushrooms? Certainly. Um, most of the mushrooms we're searching for require the roots of trees with which to live. Without the trees, these mushrooms couldn't exist. Yeah. There's a sort of constant cycle. The leaves break down into the soil, the mushrooms break the leaves down into nutrients for the trees to live on. Oh. Look. Oh, excellent. Oh, I was hoping to find something young and fresh. Now, like... look at those. Tell me what these are. These are a couple of little brown birch bolets. If you get them in this state, in this condition, they're very good to eat. These are an excellent tasting mushroom and they will add a great texture to my fish dish. But not all good looking fungi are edible and some that look poisonous are really fine. So you must be sure of what you're picking. Clive. Yeah. This is the um, amethyst deceiver, is it not? Yes, it is. And in spite of its uh, striking amethyst colour, yeah. it's a uh, really very good, very tasty, a very safe edible mushroom. Look at oh, this is what we've come for, yeah. At last we found a babelite. We could cut the dead bit off and see if there's anything edible so left that. in it. Now, after that's not too bad, That's actually. not bad, actually. But yes, cut, cut the dirt off her and um, we'll put her in the basket. Oh, excellent, about time, beauty. Oh, look at that. What a that's beauty. That's very firm. Right, well, it looks very much like the sep, the Belitus edulis, but in fact, that's the Bay Belitus. But it's nevertheless every bit as good, and there won't be any flies in that, so that will be that wonderful. That is young, place. tender, and just right for the kitchen. You have razor eyes. Well, it's not just a question of finding a mushroom, because there are plenty of them. It's a question of finding the right one. In just 10 minutes, we had this basket groaning with babelites. We found a few more amethyst deceivers, some tawny grisettes. I mean, we've it, yeah, done yeah. well. We've done well in a very short space of time, actually. 20 paces. Yes, I know, <laughs> marvellous stuff. You've just got to go to the right woods at the right time of year. Mm.